My Instagram, I got every celebrity and everybody, but they're people of mine. I work with them, I do business with them. There's a documentary by Jerry Weintraub. He passed away. It's called His Way. It's a guy who started in the mailroom with William Morris and became Frank Sinatra and Elvis Presley's manager. The story is amazing as a businessman. It's called His Way by Jerry Weintraub. It's on HBO Docs. And he went from a mailroom to managing these people, but you have to diversify and you have to follow up. So the answer to the question is, my method to my madness, honestly, is following up and just setting up my schedule every day to, to be a portion here, a portion there, a portion there, and then still living life because the hardest thing in this world is having balance in any business you're trying to grow. And my mother passed away recently, and it made me realize that life is more than just working and money. So I try to have some balance and some happiness. So try to have some balance, which is the hardest thing. There's another question right here, right, sir? I need some water. question was that uh, the gentleman said I network a lot. My name's not Network, who is part of this whole situation, as well known to know who he is, but I'm at the right places at the right time. That's how I network, and I don't want to be in places that are not where I need to be, if that makes sense. It goes back to quality over quantity. Everybody's running around trying to be in different places, trying to meet people, but you might be at the wrong place. You go to five, six places, it's the wrong place, you went to the wrong place, and it was the right place. So, I network all day long, I'm a manager. I'm a consultant, so I have to network and meet people. Nine out of 10 people are full of shit, unfortunately. How do you weed them out? I think they look you in the eyes. Because out here in California, no disrespect, everybody wants to go to lunch for two hours, everybody wants to tell you the sky is red and bullshit you. I'm from New York, you can't bullshit. So I know how to diversify and who's real, who's fake. I can just see through. You know what I mean? Because I'm a straight shooter. I tell it how it is. And people get intimidated by me, but a lot of people love that I'm real. Um, you know, if I don't know someone, I'm going to get to know them. I'm going to tell you a crazy story. I manage a producer named Scott Storch. I'm at Complex Con. I don't know who Jay Balvin is. I, I know who he is, but I don't know who his manager is. And there's 30 guys running. I'm like, how about English? How about English? Because the guy's Spanish. I wonder who speaks English. Me. Oh, you're the manager? Oh, okay, give me your number. I, work. Uh, I didn't take no for an answer. And then, by the way, let's get this picture. I'm going to be the aggressor. I'm taking control of the environment I'm in. You understand? And no one's going to disrespect me because I'm a man. But I'm not going to disrespect them when I'm being the aggressor. I'm going to be humble. Because everything goes up, must come down. I've seen the best of them get a lot of money and they fall right down. My career's been on cruise control. I don't let a Rolex or a car or money make me. What makes me is my integrity, my principles, and my morals. A lot of people get money and fame, and all of a sudden they think they're a gangster, or they're bigger than somebody, and they karma. Karma's a motherfucker, they crumble. So anybody going up in business and making money, everything goes up, must come down if you don't remain humble. I'm self-made, I'm self-taught. I dropped out of high school, I didn't go to college. I'm a multi-millionaire, but that doesn't make me. I have a beautiful home, but I'm self-taught. I ask a lot of questions, I read books, I hang out with people smarter than me and younger than me. I don't come from Google stuff because we come from pay phones and rolls of quarters, not iPhones and social media. Social media is a gift and a curse. I was able to maximize off that and capitalize. You want to follow me for motivation, it's we working with a G, but I just like to inspire people and help people get to where they need. I'm a giver, not a taker. Because a lot of people just want to take, I give. I want to help people open the doors. You ever been in a circle with a bunch of people and you came with them and they're talking to somebody they don't introduce you? And you stand there like a fucking asshole? I'm like, hey, I'm Steve, nice to meet you. And I never fuck with that person again. Because all they're out for themselves. I hate selfish people. And there's so many people out here that are selfish, so fuck them. I'm not selfish, I'm a giver, not a taker. And I got good karma because I'm a giver. So, to answer your question. Any more questions? No more questions? Come on, give me a question, man. Come up here a second. You got a question? Come on, two, two, oh. yeah. So, so you work with a lot of artists. 
and you work with artists that have never been in the industry and they're brand new, that's kind of like a lot of the companies out here in the CBD industry. So what kind of advice can you give to them as far as marketing to help market their product as if they, because I know the music industry is kind of like a business. It is a business, just like this business is. And a lot of people here don't take it serious like a business. So what kind of advice do you give them to, to, to help market their product? Everybody's here, they don't treat this as a business. They need to leave right now. Because everything's a business that you're trying to do in life if you really have a real business. Everybody's trying to build a brand. You know what a brand is? When the consumer is emotionally attached to the brand. Why are we emotionally attached to McDonald's? Why are we emotionally attached to Nike? Why are we emotionally attached to Rolex? Why are we emotionally attached to Mercedes? Because they keep their brand consistent. A lot of people are trying to build a brand, they don't stay consistent. Their logo changes, their look changes, their product changes. You have to stay consistent. That's what a real brand is when the consumer is emotionally attached to you. Also, a real brand is has a story behind it. Hollywood was built on a story. That's what a real brand is. To answer the question, like you find someone like, she might be a singer, and she's talented, and I believe in her. Well, there's a lot of work to be done. We need to market her, brand her, make music on her, and get her out there to compete with everybody else that's trying to do it. What's going to diversify that is knowledge, experience, the right people, talent, working hard, connecting the right dots, and then she'll be successful. It sounds easy, but you got to have a, a method to it, and that's what I do. So everybody out here, like you said, is trying to build a brand and market themselves in this business. You're all competition. You're competing against each other. But what makes you different? Go think and say, if I'm doing the same thing, I'm looking the same, acting the same, being the same, I'm not, I'm not going to win like that. i got to be different. So maybe i got to do a publicity stunt. Maybe i got to look different. Maybe i got to give something away. Maybe I have to create something different. Think out the box. I come up with the craziest shit, and it always works. People think I'm nuts. They think I'm crazy, but I like to be crazy and do different stuff, and it really works. And, you know, so many times feel like it's not gonna work, and then when it works, they jump on the bandwagon, because most people are followers, not leaders. And I just create marketing schemes, um, delusional things, innovative things, just crazy shit, and it works. Yes, young lady.